let's um, get this stuff going. All right, so some of you know me, some of you don't. I'm Anthony. Uh, me and my husband Fergus are going to start this little project called uh, Thrifting with Tony. So I'm going to do some unboxing, share some things that I found with you um, at the thrift store. Um, we are running a starting our YouTube channel, Thrifting with Tony. So if you want to go add that on YouTube, please do. I had 22 subscribers. Thank you so much to the 22 people that subscribed this week. And then, what else has been going on, Fergus? The Christmas collection is up. The cow collection is up. What about? Oh, no, that's later. Um, what else is up? So everything's been going great. It's been busy. So I had my bus busiest day yesterday, right? Almost 20 packages out. I was excited. But all right. Let's talk about... Oh, I wanted to talk about the butterfly taxidermy because when we were talking about it, it looked kind of weird. This is a better example of it. So the wall that I want to do for my boho room is going to be filled with these. These are actual real butterflies and these are usually handmade, but they're really pretty. This is a little bigger one. I think it's really gorgeous. So I'm doing this whole boho theme upstairs and I know I'm talking about it, but I'm collecting, collecting pieces because it's going to be so eccentric. But I picked up some art for myself. So we'll, I'll share with you what I picked up for myself first. Um, we'll do this one because I thought it was so cool. I love it. So it was... Fergus hates it. I love it. I'm. Thank you. My cousin's on here, y'all. Hi, cousin. I love you. So I picked up this because I love it. And it's, it's like, I don't know how to... It's like matted and padded and it's the fabric. And I thought it was so cool, so different. It was $12.49, but I got it for 20% off because that coupon, that's my thing. So I got this this week and it was like the week of art, I'm telling you. So then I picked up this because I like the texture in the background. This is also for me. I like the texture in the background and I'm into like wood so I really liked how this looked. It was six fifty. I know. Oh and that's what Fergus said that it's from the Philippines. So kinda of matches our house. So I love that too. But it's really nice. It's really cute. I can't wait to get this boho room up. It's gonna be a while though. Maybe like another month or two. So one more art piece for me. Let's see. So my envision is I have this yellow wall and it's going to be a bunch of massive pictures um, and the butterflies and all the other stuff. So I just want some random stuff. I want it to be nature. So wood, birds, wood tones. So this is also going up and I'm keeping this. Um, and I got two ceramic pieces this week that I'm really excited about. So this is like so cute. It's a bowl. I think it's so fun. Look at him. He's like, I don't know what it is with cows and bulls. Okay, I'm keeping this one though. I love that he's red. He's super out there. It is a tiny little chip, but that can go in the back. And for less than two bucks, I love it. And then this is a guy I picked up on um, eBay. I bought him and then I picked up another one. She'll be coming soon. And then they're a boy and a girl match. So they'll be together. I love it. I can't wait. Um, and the last thing for myself. This one's kind of cool. It's actually for the kids. Mm -hmm. So my friend, we went to Scottsdale again. I'm telling you, Scottsdale's the place to go if you want to be finding stuff. We found this. She found it. This big old, it's like in the, a set of uh, how many pieces? Does it say up there? For yeah. Uh, oh, 1,600 pieces. Brand new at um, Neiman Marcus. Was it Neiman Marcus? Yeah, at Neiman Marcus, it's $175. I picked this up. It's not even open, y'all. I picked this up and it was less than $7. So I'm gonna wrap this baby up, make it look real cute, and put it right under that tree for the kids. They won't even know. Hello. <laughs> I'm cheap. I love my kids, but they're gonna love it. 
So that's all I got for myself this week. So not too much, but we can go into all the stuff I found for the store. Um, let's see. So this one I found with my girlfriend. I don't know where. So this is the pucker fish, I call it. It's a little, little trinket dish. It's so cute. Look at that. She has like big old lips. Big porn star lips. <laughs> I love it. I would consider keeping it, but I don't know. We'll see how much it goes for. But I'm going to list her for sale and see what we do with her. But let's take a look. $4.50. There's a marking on the bottom, but I haven't took it off the sticker, so that'll be for me later. Um, also, what I found... So, I don't know what it is about nesting. So, I showed you the nestings about the turkeys from last week that I'm keeping. I found this one, which is a chicken. I've sold one like this in blue before. And it did they go off. So I also found three... Three nesting um, rabbits. So they're multiplying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I've sold this one before too. Um, and I found two at two different Goodwills. So I was like, hey. And they were, this one's $4.50 and this one's $5.50. But, I'm um, no, $3.50. But I got a pretty good deal on them. So I was excited and I love them. Here's the clear glass one. And here's the blue glass. But my favorite out of the nesting that I found is definitely the chicken. So I found this when I went down to Casa La Caca and um, went to pick up this dog box. I think it's really cute. It goes kind of with like my amber bowl that I got what, last week, right? I kind of want to keep it, y'all. <laughs> but I think I'm going to list it for the store. All right, what else did I get? I picked up this dog. I figured since I was picking up dog collections, I might as well just pick up anything I found that was dog. And then, for, did you guys know that Fergus is like a dog specialist? He can tell me whatever dog breed it is. Do you know what type of dog That's this is? This is a Cocker Spaniel. This is a Cocker Spaniel. Fergus is like the dog breed knower. So as we go through all these, I'll ask him or if you guys wanna chime in and tell me what type of dog it is. I would love that because it actually helps me. But this is a Cocker Spaniel, apparently, and it's really cute. So I picked it up, $3.50 plus 20% off because that's how we do it. And I picked up the Taco Bell dog. So I don't know what this is. It's a, well, I know what it is. It's a bank. See this little, this gave it away if you didn't know. <laughs> but it's a bank. It's the El, no, the Taco Bell dog. It's a Chihuahua, right? That's a Chihuahua? I do know that. It looks like some sort of marsupial. <laughs> I'm Mexican, so I'm calling it Chihuahua. So this is a Chihuahua to me. <laughs> and I think it, I don't know, it doesn't have any markings or anything, and there's no like cork in the bottom, so if you put your money in there, you're gonna lose it. But we'll see. I'm gonna sell this one. And I think that's it for the store, minus the box that I just picked up. So if y'all are ready, I'm going to do the unboxing. This is my favorite part because it's like Christmas. Yeah, first can you just move it out of the way? So it's like Christmas because they wrap them all real nice for me. And I get to unbox, unbox, unbox. So we unboxed this guy last week, do you remember? And he's from Japan. And then we have 23 more to go. But let me tell you what happened what I went to. So, I already told you I went to Casa La Caca or Casa Grand. Um, and this lady was selling, if, if you don't know, it's about like 45 minutes away from here. Would you say 45? Yeah, about 45. And I took my girlfriend and my daughter with me and we went and made a day of it. And I, she sent us the address and I think we put it in wrong because we ended up at this house. And I tell you, did she, oh, so she sent me gate code. So first I thought it was like, oh, we're going to go to an RV park. But then um, she sent me the address and we pulled up there. I swear, it looked like Thomas Jefferson's house. Thomas, let me see if I have a picture of this. It looked like if I was going to pull up there and be meeting some type of president. I, I took a picture because I sent it to the lady. I was like, I don't think we're at the right place. But anyways, it was at a trailer park down the street. <laughs> we had to drive like two more miles the other way. It was at a trailer park. 
But she was really nice and she um, she had wrapped these all up so I didn't get a chance to look at them in person. But like I said, we're gonna wrap, unwrap them together. But this is the first guy we did yesterday. Or oh, well, last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's really cute. And what did you say this was, Fergus? A Britney Spaniel. See, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get into it. And I'll help, we'll start unboxing. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, I can hear my children stomping upstairs. Ooh, this one is also made in Japan. I feel like my grandmother had a dog like this named Sassy. Can someone verify that? <laughs> if this is the same type of dog that my grandma had. <laughs> but it's made in Japan, just like the other one. What kind of dog is this, Fergus? Oh my gosh, what is that? I forgot what they are. Fergus doesn't know this one. So if you know what type of dog this is, let me know. You should cute. have a competition. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, who can name all the dogs? But, um... I feel like we've seen this dog on a movie before with the kids. I think it's a, a carrier of some sort. Okay. Well, if it's you can name him. I don't know. Well, if you can name him, let me know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This one's a tiny one. <laughs> it is. It was in there. It was in there. Oh, it fell out. It fell out. It was in there. It was super tiny. Oh my gosh. Look at Hi, Gigi. My daughter's down here. This one's super tiny. Oh my god, I feel like I have Parkinson's. Can I, I'm shaking. Ah, no, he's so tiny. Ah. Anybody know what type of what dog this is? Oh, well, that, he was really tiny. So, let's go. Continue, continue. Who's in here? Say hi. Is my cousin still in here? This one, it says Nap Napco Wear Imports from Japan, 1976. This is that uh, police dog, right? German Shepherd. Yeah, a German Shepherd. <laughs> oh, he's a cutie. But this is Napco, 1976, and that will definitely be going in the store. Okay, let me see if I can find. Maybe I'll find a Yorkie in here. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for joining. We're um, unboxing the 24 piece dog collection I picked up last week. So, how y'all doing? How's everybody's Thanksgiving? Okay, here's another one. A tiny dog. Where's he from? He's from Germany. So this is a German dog. What type of dog? Is that an English bulldog? It looks like a, yeah, a pug or something. A pug? It's something. English. I'm not, I'm really horrible at dogs. I just know they're cute or they're ugly. That's just where I'm at with dogs. I'm a cat person. I've I've moved over to cats. <laughs> All right. We need to find a cat collection. Yeah, I know. Cats though. I love cats. <laughs> All right. It's kind of funny because I have y'all and then I have my kids and then I have my husband. So I was like, I have multiple audiences. Let's see. This one has no markings. Um, Fergus? So it looks like a beagle. I was watching to see the doggies. Aren't they cute? If you can name any of the dogs, Courtney, let me know. This is a beagle? It looks like a beagle. Fergus says this is a beagle. Can anyone confirm or deny that? Ah. Oh. Let's see. We're getting through the dog. This one seems a little heavy. The ears all popping out here. You see that? Let's see. Oh, this one's kind of like, isn't this the same? Where is this one from? This one's from Japan. It's maybe she had, you know what the lady told me? It was so sad. She was like, I collect, I think she was allergic to dogs or something. She said, I, she collected all her, all the dogs throughout the years that she could never have. And I was like, oh, sorry. But. <laughs> Courtney says it looks like a beagle too. So, but these are kind of like the similar same dog, right? Yeah, some sort of terrier. Yeah. Scottish terrier. Okay. Well, we're, we still don't know what type of this, what the name of this dog is. I feel like it's in a cartoon or something. What's that cartoon, Bobby? What's Bobby's World? Didn't he have a dog like this? I swear. 
I'm gonna look it up. It's just coming to my head. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. oh Scottish Terrier. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh. You should have been like a vet. <laughs> this one's pretty. Let's see, where is it? No markings, but she's pretty. That's a Cocker Spaniel, too? I'm so glad we have someone who knows dogs in the house. It's not me. Oh, she's cute. I wonder if I can just... No. no. See, this is the bad thing about, like, selling. Because you want to keep everything, and you just can't. Because then you become a hoarder. Let's see. I had one when I was young. Oh, how cute. She had one. So she had a Scottish Terrier when she was young. So cute. We we always had Chihuahuas growing up. We had like everything was a Chihuahua. So now we have a Yorkie and a Chihuahua. So and then we have a cat. I know. Where is she? She's never here for the videos. Never here. I know. Ooh, this one is fun. I don't know. This looks a little bit more modern. I don't know if it's vintage. But it's shiny. I don't know. It might not be vintage, so I might not list this one. But that's what happened. All right. Four people. Okay. No mark. Oh, there is a marking. This is Occupy Japan. Look at it. So cute. Where's my dog person? Fergus! What kind of dog is this? <laughs> oh, it's like a, a bigger schnauzer, but it's a it's got the schnauzer. Uh, I don't what know. What is your friend saying? I don't know. Is I she know. still on? Is she, yeah, she's still on. She says she she loves little dogs. She loves little dogs now. I have two big dogs. Oh, hi, Tracy. Tracy's on. I feel like you're my biggest fan. <laughs> um... I used to be a dog person, completely dog person, um, but now since we got my cat, she's so chill. I've, I've switched over. I converted to being a cat person. Like, she loves me when she wants to be loved, and she leaves me alone when she doesn't want to be. That's how I like to be. But, I I don't know. I, if you guys don't know, I have a, a naked cat. She has no hair. I don't know where she's at right now, but if she makes an appearance, I'll show her. <laughs> we have five people in here, y'all. Okay, so now I know... I know this one. This is a Dalmatian, right? <laughs> this is a Dalmatian. I didn't need Fergus for that one. Do the spots give it away? I don't know. <laughs> so cute. Look at his face. He has like little whisker marks. Aww. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting filled up with all these dogs. It's too exciting. Maybe after this. Let's see, I am a dog person. Are you? Do you like big dogs or little dogs, Tracy? I, I, you know what? When we get, me and Fergus get older, like, I love my dogs right now, but I, we're just so busy. We have four kids and it's just the whole dog thing. I take care of them. I love them. It's great. But I think after these dogs leave our family, we're going to be done until our kids are out of the house and we'll just get a big old Labrador or something. Yeah, like a chocolate lab. That's my dream. I, I would like a chocolate lab. But for now... Aww. Oops. Look at this guy. He's hurt. He has a little chip and his leg's off. So I don't think I'm going to lift him. But you know what I do do? As I stick these um, in the backyard. And the kids. Like a little garden decor. And then I throw them away whenever I'm done with them. <laughs> but that's what you can do with broken stuff. Pongo, is that your dog's name? Oh, ours is uh, Jezebel or Jessa and Sebastian. And then my cat's name is Jaja. After Jaja Gabor. I have a chocolate lab and a German Shepherd. Oh, wow. Courtney has a chocolate lab. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, these are those famous dogs. The husky things, right? Yeah, these are the... The mushy mushy dogs. Mushy mushy. He has blue eyes. Like, 
We have a Doxy and a Basset. Ooh! Everyone has their own dogs. Does anyone have like a a fun dog story from 101 Dalmatians? Anyone giving their kids dogs for Christmas? Isn't that like the popular thing to do? Not here. I don't want any more responsibility. <laughs> oh, this one is cute. Also Japan. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see a Shelby. Oh, how cute. Gemma and Doxy and Shelby. Gemma or Doxy and Shelby the Bassett. Very cute. Are you guys still in Lake LA? This guy. I think she has like an obsession with terriers. Is this a terrier? Mm -hmm. Can anyone verify that? Let's see. No, we are. We have a guest appearance. Oh, yeah, no more. Oh, this is Jaja. Joshi! She looks mad, y'all, but that's just her face. She just got her. She's yeah, she's grouchy. This is Jaja. She's a sphinx. She's a sphinx. Yeah. She's so cute. Jaja, say hi. Say hi, mama. But hi. she, what? She's been with us for two years now. Oh, my little baby. But yeah, this is Jaja. She feels like a warm peach, if anybody wanted to know. <laughs> so it's just like little fuzzy hairs. But I'll let her go because she. We'll put her down. Come on, Shaji. All right. Let's see. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'm gonna pull out a few. Ooh, this one feels heavy. Okay. So, this one's a tiny one. Maybe I'll put all the tiny ones together. I'm telling you, she was obsessed with this dog. It's the same one, right? Oh, so tiny. So cute. I'm going to put all the tiny ones together. Maybe I'll make a lot out of them. This one's a little bit bigger. Okay. Oh, this is Lassie. What kind of dog is that? I love this one. I might keep him. <laughs> I, this is the other, this is also made in Japan. But this is the other dog. Like, if I don't get a chocolate lab, I want this type of dog. But I hear they're, like, really hard to brush or... It's a collie. A collie. I th I want a lassie dog. She's so cute. So this would be on the list of type of dogs that I'd get. Chocolate Lab or one of those. Alright. Almost done. I think this is a German Shepherd too. Is this a German Shepherd? <laughs> it might not be. Is it? Oh. But, um, I don't know. It kind of looks German shepherd -y. All right. We're almost done, guys. I promise you. All right. Another one. This is a German shepherd. This is definitely a German shepherd. Who is this by? Oh, George Good. I've actually had a few things listed of him through the, the cow collection. There's a couple pieces from him. So, I, he, most of his stuff is like the 80s, late 70s. So, I know this is vintage -y. I'm starting, so I'm not a professional or anything. I'm just starting, but I know a little more than the average person. <laughs> but I'm not claiming to be, you know, super thrifter. Getting up there. Uh, yeah. That's what, he's my big, Fergus is my biggest uh, fan because he puts all my... Instagram stuff and what's the, the my uh, YouTube like he does it all. I'm just like oh talk 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 and shop. But here's another one. That same breed, right, Fergus? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know that I started a TikTok too. Oh yeah, and he started a TikTok for me. I don't I don't do anything with TikTok, but I don't know. I'm old. I just sit here <laughs> and talk about dogs. Right. I think we have four more, and I got a surprise for y'all. I'm telling you, God is good. God is good. <laughs> oh, this one. I don't know, but it has a marking. It's uh, out of 758 pieces, so that might be a good one to do some research in. Oh, so cute. Okay, two more. And then, oh wait, no, there's more here. 
the gifts that keep on giving. Okay. Oh! oh, another one. He's so cute. I think I want a, what is it, a collie? I think I want a collie when we're, when we're retired. I'll open the little one. Okay, we're almost done. And I can be on my surprise. I think it's the same type of dog, that terrier. Oh, he's so tiny. This one has no markings, but I suspect it might be Japan. Well, is there a difference between, why, why is it, is it the one that gets things in Japan? Well, the... quality, China is not so good in quality, but Japan has better quality stuff. <laughs> but I'm not saying that stuff from China is always bad, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's see. It's the same guy. I feel like I have a collection of this type of dog now. And where's he from? Japan. See his little Japan on flake? I'm starting to like these dogs now. Okay, so two more, and then I can reveal my little surprise. Are we all ready? Let's see this one. It's a tiny dog. Let it be a chihuahua. No. I swear, now this one, it's the same dog. But I swear, I swear, I swear. Can you look, can you, oh, you don't have, in my phone. Can someone look up and set and post a picture of, um, what, uh, Bobby's World dog. Can someone do that? I swear this is the same dog. It's Bobby's World. And then, this is the last one. Cousin It dog. This is the one that has his eyes covered all the time. A sheep dog? Maybe. I don't know. But this was the last one, and this one is from Germany. So, this one's really cute. Now, let me get all these dogs out of the way and show you what I found this week. I'm telling you guys good. I was really just chilling in the kitchen with Fergus and I wasn't even looking for anything. And then all of a sudden, whoop, and Fergus was the real MVP because he went and took me to go pick it up. We have another box. Okay, so this I found, I'm totally excited. It's a 58 piece owl collection. And I don't know where, these collections are just getting dropped off. Like, not even dropped off. Like, I, I'm just finding them. But, look at this stuff. I haven't gone through it yet. I haven't gone through it yet, but I will. When are we gonna go through it? When do you wanna go through it? Uh, next week, in the next week. But, look, it's a bunch of owl stuff. These are seashells, y'all. This is just one of the pieces. I'm so excited. I'm so scared to go through this too because I think I'm gonna save a lot of stuff in here because it's just really vintage -y and cute. But this is the only thing I'm gonna show you today from this collection so you guys can come back and we can go through the owl collection together. And I've been dying to open this box, but I'm gonna wait. The guy was so nice to wrap it up and package it all good. So we'll do that next week. And I think we have a couple of other videos planned for this week, right? Um, I found, oh, bring me my um, hummingbird feeders. So I also found hummingbird feeders that me and him are going, have been making it. Thank you, I know, isn't it cute? The hummingbird feeders are right here, Fergus, in the butler pantry. But I had, there's a cookie jar in here. It's so cute, oh, I wanna go through it. I've been dying to go through it and I just can't. I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it with y'all. But I'll talk about my hummingbirds, so. I mean, I've been finding these hummingbird feeders on at the Goodwill because I don't want to pay full price for them because well, 17 bucks, 20 bucks for a hummingbird feeder. Please. But anyways, I made a hummingbird feeder, what, two weeks ago? Uh, three weeks, three ago. weeks ago. So we're going to do a DIY with uh, with hummingbird feeders that I find. It's yeah, a it's a portable humming feeder DIY for, uh, for your backyard. And you can find the stuff at Goodwill. But... Um, that will be going up this week. And then we'll go through the box probably next Saturday. So if you guys want to see what's in the owl box, we'll get that going. And then I'll post all this on my Etsy Pink Lemon Market. Um, 
within the next couple of days. And then, yeah. Oh my God, I've been so busy. I feel like it, that cow collection, y'all, just took me. Just took me. It was just so much. But I'm excited to go through this owl collection. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I already know I'm going to keep a bunch of this stuff. But, all right. Well, thank you for tuning in with me. And if you guys want to go into um, what's that? YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I have 22 uh, subscribers right now. We're trying to get it up a little bit. Um, I appreciate you guys watching me on Facebook Live, interacting. And what? Are you oh, yeah. And this is Thirsting with Tony. Well, I appreciate you. I'm going to say bye to my YouTube people now. And hopefully you guys come back next week. And then like and subscribe. And